Hello students. In the previous two videos on trigonometry, we basically talked about the fact that trigonometry deals with right angled triangles, and we named the three different sides of a right angled triangle. Now it turns out if you're going to be using trigonometry to find unknown lengths or unknown angles, what's really important is not just the sides, but the ratio of the sides. And in this video, we'll explain why that's the case. So here I have a number plane. The x-axis goes from 0 to 10. The y-axis goes from 0 to 5. And on the number plane, I'm going to draw a right angle triangle. The length of the base, the length of the triangle is 10 units. The width of the height of the triangle is 5 units. And in this triangle, I will mark an angle. So there is angle theta. So as we learned in previous videos, for this particular triangle, if that's the angle of interest, this side over here, which is five units long, is the opposite side. And this side here, which is next to the angle, is the adjacent side, and that's 10 units long. Now, I'm interested in the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side. And in this case, it's just five is to 10. If we write that as a fraction, it's 5 tenths, and that simplifies to 1 half. So the ratio of opposite to adjacent for this triangle is 1 half. Now what about this smaller triangle down here? Well, in fact, the small triangle and the big triangle are similar triangles because the um, that angle is common, and both of those are right angles and therefore that angle must also equal that angle. So these are similar triangles, and therefore the ratios of corresponding sides will be the same. So here the ratio of opposite over adjacent is one is to two. For the larger triangle, it was five is to 10, but that simplifies to one is to two. What if I had a triangle with um, a length of six, and a width of three. Well, once again, the opposite side is three, the adjacent side is six, and the ratio of the opposite over the adjacent is three sixths, which simplifies to one half. So the whole point of this slide here, or this page here, is the size of the triangle doesn't matter. As long as that angle is the same in each right angle triangle, the ratio of opposite over adjacent is one half. Now here's why that's gonna be useful. Oops, let me just get rid of that. Okay, so here we're gonna look at three trigonom trigonometric ratios or trig ratios. Here's a right angle triangle. There's the angle of interest, the opposite side, the adjacent side, and the hypotenuse. And it turns out there's three ratios that we commonly use. So the first one is called the sine ratio, spelled S-I-N-E but we just abbreviate it as SIN. So the sine of angle theta is just that length, the opposite, over that length, which is the hypotenuse. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. And if we want to, we can abbreviate that as just SOH. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. The second ratio that we use in trigonometry is called the cosine ratio spelt C-O-S-I-N-E, but we abbreviate that as just cos, C-O-S, and that's the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. So we say cos of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and we can abbreviate that as C-A-H, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And the third trig ratio we've already met, which is the opposite over the adjacent, so for this particular triangle, it's the ratio of that side, which is the opposite side, to the adjacent side. And that is called the tangent, T-A-N-G-E-N-T. -E but we abbreviate that as just tan. So tan is opposite over adjacent. And we can summarize that as TOA. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So one thing you must, must, must know when you're studying trigonometry are these three ratios of the right angle triangle, the sides of a right angle triangle. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent is opposite over adjacent. 
And to help you remember that, we have a very, very famous, I think every trigonometry student in the world knows this uh, in their own language, of course, Sokotoa. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So I'd strongly recommend that every time you do a uh, start a new page, um, doing some trig questions, write Sokotoa at the top of the page. And some students, especially in America, I don't know if we do this so much in Australia, like to remember that by this little phrase, S-O-H, some old hags, C-A-H, can't always hide, and T-O-A, their old age. So, so, ka, toa. And if you asked any student in America that has studied trigonometry, they know some old hags can't always hide their old age is a way of remembering Sokotoa. Okay, in the next video, we'll go ahead and start to actually find some unknown sides and possibly some unknown angles um, using Sokotoa.